Okay, let me start with uh, the K-mat. Okay, so um, I'm going to take um, SC16. I have uh, Mara. So from Mara, I'm going to bring a K-mat material. And I use that K mat material to create a, a new K mat material for myself. So I'm going to create a new K mat material. But this new K mat material is going to be based on a original K mat material which is already in the system. So I'm going to take this material as a reference, then I'm going to create a material. So the reference material is going to be this. And uh, I want to call this one as uh, Yeah, this is uh, pressurized, uh, pressurized uh, heavy water reactor. So this is a PHWR, basically a configurable material. So based on the uh, various options, I'm going to design it and I'm going to sell this. This may not be correct. Four thousand, yeah. This in twelve twelve hundred. This is going to be one thousand. Okay. Division is uh, zero zero. So the classification is already copied because I'm using copy function. Those are all taxes. Item category has come as uh, configuration. And uh, uh, transportation group, loading group, that's all copied. And uh, the group is 25, which is uh, make to make to order configurable. MRP group is a group of MRP controllers. The, if you have more than one MRP controller, we'll group them. And uh, this group is uh, exclusively for running MRP for all configurable materials.
materials. So you have 25 which is configurable and you have more than one MRP controllers. Uh, so all those guys are clumped together. Okay. So these are all the MRP controllers we will be running uh, MRP right here if you take a look at this and these are all the uh, MRP controllers for this plant who will be running MRP on a regular basis. Then I think uh, MRP2 MRP2 is uh, uh, actual uh, planning parameters, planning parameters for production planning, especially in MRP, they put it in four different uh, views. So this is all material requirement planning, but uh, spread across multiple uh, multiple screens. And you can see the strategy here, the planning strategy again 25 which is nothing but uh, uh, configurable material, okay. So the next one MRP4 and in the MRP4 you can specify how you would like to select uh, the components by exploding the bomb and how you want to consider the requirements, individual requirements, not collective requirements. So work scheduling view for the production, here you can default uh, profile and also storage locations if you want to. The quality, accounting and I need to put the price. Casting. So we are all set now with the uh, chemat material. Okay. So the next process here would be I need to go and uh, figure out what type of uh, variants I have, go to classification and we have two classes DPC1 and HD-00, two classes we have and within those two classes we have uh, uh, country desktop uh, ESA and the case standard case and case material metal and the case color metallic black and the number of uh, slots four and uh, I did not understand your question. No, so classification is uh, separate, doesn't belong to your material. Classification is a standalone, standalone cross function.
No, that means you did not understand the class location mechanism. See, class type here class type is 300. So, under class type 300, you can have multiple classes. Okay. So, in this case, you have two classes. DPC1 and HD-30 dash zeros. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, each of these will have characteristics. So, DPC1 will have whole bunch of characteristics and um, what I am trying to do here is I am assigning values for this one. So if this has got uh, 100 and this will have another 200, so you have typically 300 characteristics the values and that is assigned to the material which I am using right now. So each of these you see that? So so it's so it so go, goes back to the basic fundamental. So this this is the basic fundamental. So and similarly, you can even have the same material, class type 200 also. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So, here I'm trying to set the values. Because if I don't select uh, any values, it, the system doesn't have a clue what values are assigned. But you, you have the luxury to change it at any time because that's all, that's what is called a configuration. That's called a variant configuration. Even though you have something which is already sitting in the system, you still have a, a option or a, or a luxury to make changes any time. And even though you already configured it and you have a sales altar sitting here, but you can go back again and uh, you can change it and thus change sales altar. So, um, so let me pull this quickly so that we will have some uh, values. Without um, having this, I cannot even create variants and also I cannot create uh, variant conditions. So we need to set up this. Okay. So now we have all that uh, set up 
and we, we saved it. So that means we have at least uh, some master data which is sitting in the system. Okay. Now let's go back and see the other master data. So the other master data here is going to be conditions. And in the conditions, I need to make sure that uh, I have set up all the conditions. So I'll go to week 11, go to conditions. There should be the variant conditions somewhere here, which is, uh, I think, VA something, VA00. Vertical order, yeah, V A zero zero is already gone. V A zero zero is variance. Hit enter. Okay, and this is for uh, sales organization one thousand distribution channel ten, and we defaulted for. Uh, um, your uh, uh, material and uh, the variant would be one of our variants are desktop yeah we can we all these variants we have seen in our uh, system just now so we can take any of the CD-ROM drive so if you take a CD-ROM drive and it is going to be, uh, that was, uh, so let's say uh, $400. So we got everything and we'll save this. So we have a variant condition. Okay. So for this variant condition, which is, which is this, CD-ROM, I need this variant in order to write object dependencies. This is a variant used in VA00 condition. So let's go back now. And let's uh, take the standard one. So this is going to be a material condition, not for a customer, not for uh, uh, price list or currency or whatever. You can do it again to, to two more times. In fact, three times you can create that. So this will be my PHWR. Pressurized heavy water reactor. The amount is one, two, three, four. Because I put uh, uh, five right now. It should be more than that. And also, I need to make sure that I have a price list. And um, price list, uh, wholesale, retail, industry, public sector, internet. Um, my distribution channel, I don't see here. My distribution channel is 10. So let me just uh, ignore this. And uh, customer and material. Okay, my customer is 1006. 
material is T dash AQ okay. these are the sales orders and if I go to the sales order one one zero forty seven one one zero forty seven cattle should be on this one yeah cattle is one thousand so let's go back to Customer is 1000 and the material is uh, pressurized heavy water reactor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that's all taken care of. Now, A01, order type OR. 1000 10 0 0 customer is 1000 I want to see what kind of uh, price what kind of uh, condition it is going to pull up as for the existing configuration then after that we'll, uh, we'll try to see which one makes sense which one doesn't make sense So this has got more than uh, one shipping uh, address. So we selected. Uh, okay, it says configuration not possible for this material. Reason we don't have a configuration profile I'll attached to this material. And uh, okay, configuration profile is not there. And uh, so we have to first uh, go and create a configuration profile for this material so let's go back central functions variant configuration configuration profile create that's for material that is my material name of the profile 235 megawatt Thirty-five megawatt plus three hundred yeah I can even uh, set up uh, I think uh, F4 function 4 function 4 this is pricing Okay. So we have a configuration profile. Now let's go and see what we did in, inside. And let's take this. Okay. We have all these class assignments. Wonderful. They're already in there.
profile details select the profile go to profile details okay. so in this profile we have um, under basic data we have assigned classes and in the configuration initial screen so it is set up that it's going to be planned orders production orders so we want to change it to sales order or order wow so let's change it to sales order and it's going to be single level wow explosion not multi-level and uh, pardon? sales order because we are not connected uh, with the sales uh, production right now we'll start with the sales order Yeah, it's going to, if you put uh, planned order, production order, what happens is, in the planned order, production order, if you choose PLA, okay, in this case, so we'll, we will be coming from top. So you will um, do the sales operation planning. Sales operation planning based on 25 strategy, 25 planning strategy. This is actually pretty much a BP guy's job. You can choose that. So this is going to be starting from planning all the way to execution. So top level planning is called sales operation planning. And that you are going to do based on a planning strategy. The planning strategy that you put in material master mm master in mrp3 view in the mrp3 view you have put uh, the planning strategy slash n mm03 and in the planning You have put some parameters. Those parameters are twenty five. Again, twenty five. So, for those uh, uh, based on uh, twenty five planning strategy, what you put in in the material master as planning strategy you are going to do sales operation planning and the inputs to do this could be SIS sales information system you have a sales information system which is uh, captured last year history before last year history so you are going to take two years of history in order to make a plan for the next three months or next six months in order to sell your PHWR product, the pressurized heavy unit. And all? Yeah, because you, the reason I'm explaining is see, in this profile, so this, what is this? That is what you said. So I'm trying to explain. Yeah, we can, we can bypass that, okay. So, this is a sale. This means exclusively front end. 
you are not uh, worried how the planning is being done or how the sales operation planning is done how the demand management is done so that is not really uh, not uh, relevant uh, for a sales guy so that you might want to talk to the pp guy and how they want to do it so that time we can take care of it too. so even single level multi level is also pp so are you going to export the bomb all the way to multiple levels that means pressurized heavy water has got components each component is also having again components those components have got components so that that way it goes to uh, so many levels okay. so when you say single level because uh, you are uh, the say as a as a sales guy you are only worried one level okay so this is the type of configuration setup what we put in the profile the profile name is to 235 megawatt okay um, so application pp obviously production planning production general okay since i selected bomb explosion uh, I did not say none, so since I selected single or multi, so it's asking what application is it for PP application, obviously it is PP application. So we have done one thing here, then the other one is we need to create the dependencies also, the single dependency, multiple dependencies, so single dependency and I'm going to write object OBJ dependency the name is obj dependency for phwr okay so we can um, we can even copy and you can copy from one of the dependencies which are already in there for this product which is T dash ours is a computer desktop so we can now uh, we have a CPU here somewhere Dusta CPU case okay, CPU yeah so uh, mine is um, CPU DPCX CD-ROM okay so let's say uh, slim CD-ROM CPU So we, since we already have a dependency, and I selected uh, uh, that dependency and copied it from that one, and I'm going to say this is a procedure. And if you go to dependency editor, okay, there is a dependency. Yeah. So the. Uh, this is not a procedure, this is a condition since I selected uh, uh, the dependency called procedure so you didn't like it. So this is select if ROM is 16 uh, MB and the CPU is uh, 100 mega, uh, megahertz then you have to select the option value of 002 the characteristic value 
should be 0, 0, 2. So that's the rule what we have written here is a part of dependency and uh, and if you want to write uh, without uh, um, without this uh, I mean without copying it so let's say you want to write another dependency without copying the description and uh, this is not a condition you want to write it as a procedure go to editor and you can write the code here is um, your variant the variant what you created already is um, is this one this is the variant and in the editor you need to write dollar dollar variant is equal to the the characteristic well characteristic the characteristic what you have in the in the material master so your characteristic in the material master for this particular one is Material color RAM RAM dust PC Control C RAM dust CP there is an error there is an error in the syntax so I think uh, this is not uh, this may be a description RAM for test PC that so may not be the characteristic so this may be the this may be just uh, Characteristic. Let's try oh. monitor. Generally, there will not be any space in between. But the characteristic description can be anything. You can have uh, space or underscore all that, but. Uh, uh, it cannot be a simple sentence like it, like that monitor. So let's try this. Oh no, this is wrong. So either the characteristic is wrong. So let me. Yeah, uh, actually the the reason for syntax error over there is um, the characteristic I'm typing that is not actually characteristic. That is a description of the characteristic monitor or whatever. Actual what actual uh, characteristic is not uh, uh, is not monitor. It may be something else. The description it. The only the description is is uh, um, 
only the description is the one which I'm typing, but it doesn't like the description. It likes only the real characteristic value, uh, not the not the description. So what I want to say is that is going to put us in the uh, error because uh, if I go to characteristics, so my characteristic is monitor. I don't know. It's correct. Characteristic name is one. But still it says it's syntax error. Okay, anyway, um, I will uh, just uh, uh, go to the next one. Uh, so now I have uh, <coughs> I have uh, put uh, the relevant uh, configuration profile. So I did that. So now if I try to create a sales order, I need to see what information it is bringing and how it is bringing. And if it is not bringing anything, then why it is not bringing? So, or if I want to put my own conditions, my own variance, how can I do that? And uh, how can I bring them into the system? Okay, so it is, uh, there is some inconsistency. Let us configure it again.
we have a pricing uh, it took the pricing procedure and uh, let's go to item uh, let's go to first uh, header conditions okay it, uh, it got the uh, the price what I set up the PR00 that has come and also uh, the down payment, output taxes, cash discount and all that stuff has come. This is pardon? No, it didn't yeah. So uh, variant pricing will be at the item item level because this is header so if you have uh, multiple items each item will have a different pricing so it won't show up here uh, I'm looking at the header this is header data let's go back and take a look at uh, item now so highlight the item line item and uh, click on go to item item conditions Okay, so in item conditions, you you have to get some uh, uh, variant related conditions. It didn't show up. So, is it designed for a manual entry? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll try to see. Is, um, it is designed uh, here as uh, yeah it, it designed uh, on this system as a manual uh, so we'll take a look at uh, the configuration uh, for the VA00 so condition SPRO Yeah, that's um, it's a manual condition. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the configuration and see how this is set up. Yeah, it is set up as manual. You see this? Manual is as a, as a, as a priority. So 
since it is set up as manual, so it's taking manual. So that's why our system is uh, screwed up system. So the, the, these guys change it uh, every minute. So that is the reason why I am saying that whatever you see something here is going to be a little bit different because uh, our students they make changes. So we there are a lot. Of Yeah, that that you know that that is a that is a business requirement. So here, uh, let's not say that they screwed it up. Okay, let's uh, let's talk in the in terms of business. So, in Vival, Vival Systems Incorporation is saying, guys, I don't want any variants to be driven automatically. I want to put whatever I like in manual. So that's a business requirement. So. Somebody in our company, why will? As for the business requirement, he set it up, so it is correct. So it's all driven by the business uh, uh, requirement. Just a minute, I need to go to this.
So, primarily what happens is, if I am designing a new condition type, I have to have all the answers for these questions, for example. So, how do you want to set up your uh, uh, conditions? Okay. So, each of these are going to be the questions. So, let's say, do I select anything or leave it here, leave it like this, this one. So, that would be a question which I am going to understand. So, uh, how, why I should pick this one, why I should uh, put, uh, put this, uh, uh, this thing on or off or leave it blank. So, they, these are the, these are the questions I am going to ask. Similarly, if I, if I go to here, so which one I should uh, sell, select, why should I leave it just like that, why should I not, yeah? No, here it is not, the question is not really a right or wrong, the question is how you want this. And uh, when I say you, the business, how the business is uh, looking at it. So, what what is the need? So, in nothing is wrong or nothing is right in this screen. You can you can make anything possible because if that is wrong, why SAPS provided these options? If if it is wrong, then they should not provide all all these options. That means if you Yeah. No, that's not right. Okay, so right now the way it is set up, it is working. Okay, so let me show some more examples how they set up. Okay, so for my scenario, so it's working this way. Okay, let's see how this is working for others, for other scenarios. Because this is not the only scenario we have in the system. Okay, so give me a minute. Let me pull up some more records.
Smash and SC sixteen and VVAP VVAP and materialist control V.
started this in the in the class so this is a lot of a couple of people said that they have uh, created uh, all this information like uh, so you you can see he has created a whole bunch of uh, um uh, kemat materials so i i'm trying to see if there are one of these i've got sales artists so in that process i'm using a couple of tables to to find out okay it looks like this guy which one he has uh, okay let me do this so i can go here and type one by one every product and it's going to bring up uh, at least uh, so that these are the materials and uh, these are all the kemat materials so control y then copy control c and go back to my data browser and here i'll put um, all that information control v Now I will try to see how many I have. Okay, okay number of documents are ten. Execute. Okay. So these are all the sales orders that uh, the gentleman has created. We'll see out of these sales orders uh, which one is what. Okay. So. One ninety five five fifty seven. So typically, I went to which one? One ninety seven. Slash and V A zero three. Okay, one ninety five. One ninety five five five. Ninety five 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 one nine one two three and two. Okay. So this right, this one right here, it's a uh, material that gentleman has created. And uh, let's go and see what we have here. Uh, go to item conditions. Okay. So he has some uh, conditions. Which he has created. Okay, so they showed up, and uh, for this, yeah, for this material, we'll see what kind of information he has set up. Control C. Okay. Okay. So this is the material, and uh, for this material, I want to go and see what profile he has, the variant configuration profile. So central functions, variant configuration, configuration profile, change, the material is, this material is this. It entered. Okay. No, this is not his material. Sorry. So his material is. This is the material. Okay. So he has created a profile called Syed profile. Control C. Control V. This is the profile. Config profile. And this is a chemat material which he created. Okay, so that's a configured profile. Then let's go and take a look at uh, uh, the kind of uh, object dependencies he must have created. 
a single okay control v created a while uh, by class This is the material, and for this material, he created a class, and this, that class is say the class. Control C, Control V. So say the class one, say the class two. These are the two. Now I need object dependency based on the class. So I'll go back to the equity policy. Hello? Yeah, actually I need to leave now. Um, uh, I'll, um, uh, I would like to sit with you in the late evening or maybe night and I'll, I'll, after reaching uh, New York I'll give you a call. Okay? Yeah, so this, this, yeah, this information, yeah, please take in Take a note of this information, control C. Let me send you this because you can you can see in the display world. But the day the day we uh, uh, we started uh, uh, we started configuration with you. That that day itself I started uh, teaching. So you have seen it, right? So there are a lot of work uh, these guys have done it. So. I did not get a chance to uh, see, but now I think uh, I'll. Uh, so this is the KMAT material. That's the configuration profile, and this is the class what he set up. Mm -hmm. And from the class, you can find out the the, the what do you call that? Uh, yeah, V B A K. Yeah, that is the table for the. Uh, orders, but before that, in order to get the orders, you need to get the material. Go to Mara, and uh, you need to go with KMAT material type, and with a username. The username, what you have seen, is no man. The gentleman worked in SAP actually, so uh, he was pretty quick. He did all that stuff. Mara. Then after that, uh, once you have uh, no man material. Then you are going to go to VBAP, BAP, because for a material, for a no man material, okay, which is the no man material is material is S S N B S N S N B S N B dash mat, okay. For this material in the VBAP. You are going to see how many orders are there. Okay, then I got that information. I got one order, which is one nine five one two three. So we are investigating that. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a call as soon as I reach uh, New York. There's a global conference, otherwise, uh, I would have cancelled it. Okay, so thank you so much. Bye.